So you know how in other videos I've said that I don't roll out of bed in order to cause trouble and like turn on my camera and cause trouble. Today I feel like I will be causing trouble even though I personally do not think that I am deserving of it. I am tired of protecting the name of someone who has been harassing me and that is what it is called as advised by police and others so, you know not just harassment but also stalkerish behavior um this is not a scripted video uh, as i've said many times in the past that when i script things they turn very contrived and that's what i'm not aiming for all i am aiming for in this video is to explain a series of events because I cannot believe how fucking stupid it is um, so I want to explain a series of events and then give a last and final message to Zara K now I am not going to be talking about the lead-up to all of these events I'm going to start specifically at where I I posted a very petty video and I will admit that it was very petty I don't think that it was wrong for me to post the video I think that it was wrong for me to talk about one person in particular in that video um, but besides that I don't think it was wrong for me to post the video but that video is no longer public um, and I'm going to be talking from there onwards. So there are a number of things that I think about Zara K. A number of things. I have never in my 25 years of existence needed to so badly oust someone from my life. And I mean that in no exaggeration at all. I still have pictures of my father and he tried to kill me. I have had to oust Zara, Zara K, in a physical, mental, legal and spiritual fashion. I have had to burn her out of my life like she was bedbugs and I mean that in the most literal way possible like I actually burned items that she has given me and photos that I've taken with her and I am so sentimental that I have kept photos of the man who almost murdered me so what happened what the fuck is going on? Why is Faye giving a final message? I will provide the screenshots as I talk about them. Uh, I don't have them in front of me and I don't have all of the dates, but I think most of the screenshots are time stamped, um, except for maybe one. Um, and we're going to go from there. So where it started is that I needed some advice from Maram Namazi, who is the adult in every situation. I'm always going to go to her for advice. Um, and I wanted to talk to her about something, but I didn't want to talk about Zara K without first letting her know that I was going to talk to her because it felt like the right thing to do. I'm going to be talking to Mariam about all of these issues and I need advice from her, so I need to tell you about it. And that's what I did. I emailed Zara, and I will not be displaying that email um, because it has some very personal information in there about Zara K. Uh, but I made it very, very, very fucking clear that I was not trying to mend our relationship. I wanted nothing more from her. This was not a threat. Like I wasn't saying, if you don't come like run back to me, I'm gonna talk to Mariam. I was gonna talk to Mariam because I wanted advice from Mariam Namazi, okay? Um, and thus far, 
I've been following Marm Namazi's advice. Marm Namazi did not advise me to make this video, but Marm Namazi's sound and reasonable advice was to just stop talking to Zara, which I did. Um, and what happened was that after I sent that email to her, telling her that I have no interest in rebuilding our friendship and that I was gonna be talking about her to a third party, she responded with an email that basically said, and I will provide the screenshot, it basically said, um, don't talk to me or my loved ones ever again. And if you do, I will file for harassment. And since then, I have not asked anyone to contact her and I have not directly or indirectly contacted her. I have spoken about her in passing without naming her, but that is not harassment. Unfortunately, Zara K does not fucking understand what commentary is or what fair use is, and we'll get into that in a little second, but she will act like I'm obsessed while she's been doing all of this Karen nonsense in the background. So following that email, um, I have not contacted her indirectly, directly, to her face, through someone else, I have not contacted her. I have not made any attempt to speak to her. I have made no attempt to have any communication with her whatso fucking ever, except one, and we'll get into that. Because it's a legal matter. So following this email, I have not spoken to her, right? She, like a couple of days later, or like the day after, texts me saying, um, can you take videos down? Or like, can you remove me from all of your videos? Because I don't want to be associated with you anymore. Which is the, like the child equivalent or the work equivalent of saying that you're quitting after you've been fired. It's fucking stupid. And I didn't respond to her because she told me if I spoke to her again or her loved ones again, she would file for harassment. So I didn't respond to her. And following that, she decided to strike a number of my videos. We're talking like probably around 20 videos with a privacy complaint. Thankfully, almost all of them almost all of them have been rejected. They're, they don't fly as privacy complaints. And she, she had the audacity to take down two videos that she not only consented to, but were live streams on her channel originally. They were clips from her live stream, both about Islam related issues. So she, did, she does not give a fuck about the greater good in the slightest for those of you who are gonna come and say, oh, she does so much good work. No, the fuck she doesn't. Um, everything is just an accessory for her ego and that is my personal opinion. And before you fucking leave your stupid ass fucking comment, I'm allowed to have one. Um, I'm getting too mad at this. I need to like go out to a field and I need to scream. So she makes all of these privacy complaints and I handle them. I also like bitch about it online without naming her. Um, and then a couple of maybe like one or two days later, she makes the claim that she had to file a harassment report. Now, she has no, and, and she says it in the context of this recent drama with me and like a few others, right? Like me and my quote unquote click. They're my friends, but okay. Um, so she has no drive to report anybody else and she has threatened to report me. So I immediately assume it's me, right? She's reported me because I don't know who else she could report. Everyone else is either in South Africa or they've done literally nothing to her. Um, so I call up my police department and I asked them, because they know me down there, I've, I've, I'm very friendly with my local police station. Um, and I asked them, hey, um, I have a legal right to know if someone has filed a harassment case against me and has anyone filed a harassment case against me? And before they even dined to answer that, they were like, 
why would you think that? And then I explained this whole fucking situation to them. And then they suggested, the police suggested, that I file a harassment case against Zara K, which I have. I have a case number. There is a, an open harassment case against Zara K from me. The police came to my house, they took a statement, and they, uh, they have her number, her full name, her date of birth, and her address, and they said that they would give her a formal warning. And I have confirmed with them, they have given her a formal warning. Now, they have made it very, very clear to me that if she tries to contact me, she, try, she comes to my house, she gets someone to contact me on her behalf, or she harasses me in any other way, shape, or form, it is a crime. It is legally a crime. Now keep that the fuck in mind, okay? Fast forward to me being on holiday in Liverpool. This happened while I was in Liverpool and I wasn't going to address it while I was in Liverpool because I was on a holiday and I was with Saf and it was an amazing time. And now I've come back to my beautiful city to deal with this fucking shit show. She has taken down these two videos. She has successfully taken down these two videos and I have lodged, um, you know, some kind of complaint to say that those two videos being banned in the UK or being uh, unwatchable in the UK is not valid because A, they were originally her videos so she consented to it and there is no privacy claim and B, she allowed me to have those videos on my channel and C, she's been blurred out of the fucking videos, both of them. I've blurred her out of those videos because I don't want her in them anyway. Um, so yeah, there's that. I've already backpedaled with that. But the reason why I'm making this video is because she is fucking dumb enough to brag about it. She used her power in her new job to get her contacts at Google to like take my videos down or like try to escalate issues with the complaints that she made. And I have a screenshot to prove it. Now, I had briefly considered complaining to her company because she was abusing her position in the company to affect me directly. She has now committed a crime. Once it's reported, it's a crime. But I retracted my complaint and I told them I don't want to escalate the issue because I'm not a fucking Karen, okay? And I instead have decided to give you one final fucking warning. I do not want to fight a civil fucking court case with you. But I will if you keep fucking pushing me to. This is enough evidence to charge you with harassment. But I know that you want to stay here and you are not a UK national. And the police who visited me when I filed the original report said that getting this on your criminal record could probably cause you to lose the privilege of living here because you are not a UK national and you could be sent back to Australia. Now, I don't want to fucking do that because I'm not a fucking Karen. But if you don't back the fuck up, and I mean that in every sense of the word, I will take this to a civil court. I will take this down to the station and fight a fucking civil court battle with you. Plain and simple. I think it's also worth mentioning that this is all speculation. 
I think it's also worth mentioning that following Zara filing her privacy complaints, Anya also decided to file two privacy complaints against me, which is also completely invalid because fair use is something that fucking exists. And if you don't know what the fuck that is, maybe go and look it the fuck up. Birds of a feather, they flock to fucking gather. And I would not be surprised if they're in each other's ear. Would not be fucking surprised. But again, that's speculation. I am done. I am done protecting you. I am done hiding your name. I am fucking done acting like I can let all this shit fly. Because you are a textbook bully. Textbook for all your bullshit about saying, oh, Faye is silencing me. Faye and her crew are silencing me. Why are you silencing me? To go ahead block me because I disagreed with you and then dogpile me in a public live stream and then continue to harass me after you have seek after you have received legal fucking counsel to stop this has been a fucking PSA I do not care what any of you think about Zara K because guess what I knew her for a year personally y'all don't know her like that so you can have whatever the fuck opinion that you want but she she has plagued me plagued me like fucking locusts for the last three to four weeks and I am fucking done taking it so you either fucking stop or I make a move in either direction. Either take it to your company or take it to a civil court. I do not want to because I honestly don't need that kind of headache right now. I have enough headache all on my own and you knowing that makes this even fucking worse but I will if you fucking continue. This has been a PSA. Peace out. I'm going to put my face on for today's fucking show. Jesus fucking Christ.